Welcome back to It's Not What You Know, where it's not what our contestants know, it's what our experts don't know that matters. Before the break, Nikki and KJ thought that... <laughs> I just like saying KJ thought that Sarah Kaywood would not have known that Michael Fole uh, was the first British-born astronaut to walk in space. Now, you're on £1,000, you're playing for £6,000. You need her to have been stumped, otherwise you're back to zero. Was she stumped? Oh, Sarah! Sarah knew it. You're still playing for £5,000 a question. It's, it's quite early yet. Nikki and KJ are both into serious action sport. They skydive nearly every weekend. They go scuba diving. They're always at the gym. In fact, this is the longest they've ever sat still in one place for weeks. <laughs> this is the next question. Question number three. Who was voted BBC Sports Personality of the Year 2005? So, Doogie! I'll be a specialist. These are the four options the others were given, but Doogie wasn't. Darren Clark. Ellen MacArthur. Matthew Pinsent. Andrew Flintoff. I think it was Ellen MacArthur. In, uh, Good 05. thinking, Batman. It's Andrew Flintoff. Well done. <laughs> think about the year. It was straight after the uh, epic test match, wasn't it? Right, so Doogie. I think Doogie would know this, but you guys choose. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, definitely. I think he would know it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I don't think it's worth going up to the next level for that. I, I think it's something he would know and probably be involved in. He wouldn't have had the options, don't forget. I think he should know. Can we just put him to one side for a second? Well, let's put okay? it for Doogie. <laughs> just go over there. If you could just move across the door with Jolly thank you. Right. Uh, Fred, would he know? Would Frederick Forsyth know him? I think that's a probably not. I me. don't know because, based on what you've just said, off the, it was the year after the epic test match, and I think they were probably thinking the same vein as he. So well, I he was just here, wasn't he? We might easily well. work it out from the options. Vincent, MacArthur, Flintoff are all quite I don't think Mark looks geeked. very sporty, cos he is. He looks like a bit of a geek. So yeah. I don't think... Geek. Yeah. He's a little half to these people. So yes. I, I, I think we could safely say, I, don't, I really don't think Mark would know it. Cos he's a geek. Yeah. I think we both agree that Mark, it doesn't really matter yeah. as long as we choose one that doesn't know it. Is that correct? I went through all this at the top of the show in <laughs> so much detail. OK, can we go for Mark then, please? Yeah? OK. Lock him in. Lock him up. Mark. OK, let's have a look. Did Doogie know this? No, oh. he did not. Doogie... Don't forget, Doogie had no options. Doogie thought the answer was Wayne Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> it's a puzzle, isn't it? Uh, Freddie Forsyth, did he know Freddie Flintoff? <laughs> no, he did not. Mm, the professor. <laughs> he knew it, you see? Sarah, no, or she just lost in the world? <laughs> no, she did not know. So you need Mark to be stumped mm. to get your money up. You're on zero again. You're still playing for £5,000, so it'll get you back to five grand. Was he stumped? Hey. He did the same as you. He, uh, he had the four options. He went for Alan McCarthy as well. Right, you got five thousand pounds. This is the next question. <laughs> question number four is this one. Coined by William Howard Russell, which battle gave rise to the expression "the thin red line"? Your specialist. Specialist, obviously, going to be Fred. These are your options. Blenheim, Balaclava, Rourke's Drift, Waterloo. Come on, what's the answer? It doesn't matter what you know, but what's the answer? The answer's Balaclava. Now, would Frederick have known that? I think so, yes. He's a bright man, he knows his, he does know his history, he's done a lot of travelling. We could take a chance on the fact that he might not know it. I, I'm... Out of all of them, if one has to know the answer, I'd say he's the man who knows the answer. Who wouldn't? Come on. I think who Doogie wouldn't? wouldn't. I don't think Sarah would. Mm, I think a lot of them would be stumped, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. Honest. Sarah keeps... She's, she seems like quite a bright girl. She's, she's only had a few questions, but she's been doing all right. I don't think Fred got it myself. I would want to take a risk on her. <laughs> what are we doing now? Because I've... I've completely lost the plot. I've got to bow down <laughs> again. But he was right last time, so... Yeah, it's a fluke. OK, so who we are we locking him? in? We're locking We're in. We're going with KJ's uncanny instincts. Fred. Sounds like Fred. it. OK, lock it in, Frederick Forsyth. <laughs> OK. Right, Doogie. Did you know about something about the sport, Doogie? Yes, he did! Oh, OK. Mark. The Professor. No, he did not. Sarah. I don't think Sarah would in a million years. No. 
So you need Frederick Forsyth to have been stumped to take you up to £10,000. Otherwise, you're back to zero. Frederick, were you stumped on your own specialist subject? <laughs> of course he wasn't. <laughs> you know that bit when you said, I really trust KJ's judgment? <laughs> Did that. I say that? Yes, just now. That's why we're in the mess we're oh, in today. I didn't mean to. That's why we're on. Yeah. El Zippo. <laughs> I'll sort it out later. Following KJ here to back. Yeah. Not a great plan. <laughs> right. Come on, you're still playing five thousand pounds a question. Let's try and get some money back. This is the next question. <laughs> question number five. So we're a third of the way. According to Buggles, the radio star was killed by what? Do you know this? Video. Some, the vi video. Video killed, killed the radio. Star. You had no options. Okay. Your specialist gonna be Sarah. <laughs> She also had no options. You knew it straight away. These are your four options, A, B, C or D. The others got this, Sarah didn't. The others got these four. Television. Celluloid. <laughs> Celluloid killed the radio star. I don't think so. <laughs> Avatar, Avatar, no. Or video. Right answer is video. Right, now, did Sarah know this? Yes. She would have played it, I thought. I think so, yeah. It's I think I'm going to go straight in, gut instinct, let's bang out a quick question, get five grand there, profess... Prof doesn't know. Professor Colin. No okay, idea. lock it in. Are you agreement? Sorry, hang on. Oh no! no. I'm sorry, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> hang on, no, my decision <laughs> this time. Yeah, we're going for the prof. You said go for the prof, yeah? Yeah. Being dynamic. Right, lock it in. Professor Colin. Do not know. It's number one back in 1979. Sarah's a specialist, did she know? <laughs> yeah, she did. Diggy, did you know this? <laughs> yes, you did. Frederick. Do you sit at home writing playing puzzles in the back? I thought not. Mark! Right, you need Professor Cole to have been stumped by this question to get your money back up to £5,000. I think he probably would have been. Were you stumped? Prof, what happened? <gasps> Colin, how did you know that? <laughs> how can he be a closet Buggles fan? <laughs> OK, it's going, um, it's going really badly. Um, you're still on naught. 